Have you heard about affiliate marketing as a way to make money online, but you're confused about what it is as well as how to get started? Maybe you know a little bit about it, but you aren't sure which affiliate programs to trust or how to get approved. If this sounds like you, keep watching as I answer some of the most burning questions about how to get started in affiliate marketing so I can take you from confused to competent so that you can earn your first dollar and beyond with affiliate marketing. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'll answer these questions. What is affiliate marketing? How do I get started with affiliate marketing? Which affiliate programs slash networks can I trust? And can anyone do affiliate marketing? Affiliate marketing is when you develop a relationship with a brand and you basically say, I would like to recommend your products because I think they're great, but I would like you to give me a little bit of a kickback for telling people about your products. There are literally hundreds, thousands of affiliate programs that you can sign up for and a lot of them are products that you already use in your day-to-day -day life and you could literally get paid for promoting things that you already use so just look around your house and you might be surprised about the things that you can get paid to talk about that you probably already got someone else to buy and you could have got a commission off of that if you would have given them a link to your affiliate program affiliate programs and affiliate marketing are seriously as simple as telling someone that is looking for what you have or what you have a link for, telling them about it, getting them to click, and when they purchase, because it's your unique link, then you get a commission. Make sure you look at the terms of the affiliate program that you sign up for. There are a lot of different ways that you can get paid. Sometimes you'll get paid just by getting someone to get a free trial. Sometimes they'll actually have to buy the product. Sometimes if you are the one that told the person about it first, you will get the affiliate commission. Sometimes if you're the person that told the person about it last, you'll get the affiliate commission. So make sure to read the terms of every affiliate program that you apply for and you get accepted to, to make sure that you know how you're gonna get paid or otherwise there could be some confusion and frustration on your affiliate marketing journey. I'm gonna tell you about some affiliate programs that I have used and I have gotten paid from. There are many, many more that are great, that are just fine, but I wanted to tell you the ones that I have actually made money from and I have actually got paid from so that you can feel totally confident when you sign up for them. So one of them is the ever popular Amazon affiliate program. Now, if you look at some of the videos online about joining the Amazon affiliate program, you might see a lot of people saying, you know, the ad rates have, the commissions have gone down, oh, the sky is falling. <laughs> Amazon makes it really easy for people to trust that you are not a scammer. <laughs> so, at, okay, maybe they're not as high as some other affiliate programs, but I am still happy with the commissions that I earn because their brand is so strong and I don't have to convince anyone I'm not a scammer or that the site that I'm sending them to is secure and trustworthy. So Amazon, definitely a great one. ClickBank, I used this a very long time ago and I always got paid on time by them. I don't really market a lot of info products anymore, but that's a lot of what ClickBank is. So you can check out all the stuff on ClickBank and they do definitely pay you out. Uh, a lot of their stuff uh, might be a little bit old on there, so make sure you look at the stats and things like that. But there are so many, so many things that you can promote on there. So that's another great one. Uh, CJ.com, which is Commission Junction, another good one. You're gonna see a lot of bigger brands in there. So you might find that it's a little bit more difficult to get accepted to the affiliate programs, but don't give up, get your website up and get going because you know, I started out and I had a terrible website. I kept getting no denial, denial, and it was really upsetting. But whenever you see that first affiliate commission coming from Commission Junction, it is definitely worth the wait and worth the work. Impact Affiliate Network is another one that I've worked with a, a long time ago, but I very like the affiliate managers there are just absolutely amazing. And a lot of them actually helped me make some of my first big commissions. So I'm really grateful to them. So you should totally check it out. There's a lot of health related products. So uh, if that's your niche, then you should definitely check it out and see what they're doing right now. 
they always have like a lot of promotions and different things. They even have some events sometimes. So make sure that you check them out because they're totally great. At Share a Sale, I still work with them on some a few different affiliate programs. Share a Sale is an affiliate network. So there are many, many different vendors within this network. So check them out and see the different terms before you sign up for each of the programs because you're gonna get different terms in different programs that you see on there. So make sure you look at them and don't just think that you're dr dealing directly with ShareASL, which is the same as with uh, CJ.com as well. You might be wondering, like I said earlier, can anyone do affiliate marketing? Yes, anyone can do affiliate marketing. Depending on your location, you may or may not get approved for certain affiliate programs. So make sure, again, to look at the terms and make sure that you are in a place where you're able to do it. For instance, with Amazon, they don't accept everyone, even US affiliates, because of certain tax laws that were put upon them and they just don't like it. So for instance, whenever I lived in Missouri, where I do not live anymore, they no longer allowed you to have the Amazon affiliate program and to be an affiliate. So if I was doing a lot of Amazon at that time, I would have been pretty upset, but thankfully I was not. And now I live in Tennessee and everything is fine. If you wanna get approved for your first affiliate program, one of the best things that you can do is make sure that your content that you create on your blog is very relevant to that affiliate program. They should come to your blog and not be like, why do they want to be an affiliate? You know, they're a fishing website and I'm a beauty product. That doesn't make any sense. You also can put some of your strategies for how you think that you will drive traffic to the affiliate offer and get sales. So for instance, if you do have a fishing blog and you want to drive sales to a fishing product, maybe lures or whatever fisher people want, <laughs> whatever it is that they want, you can tell them how you plan on doing this. Maybe you're gonna do versus reviews, this product versus this product. Whatever it is, if the more of a strategy that you have and you can talk to them about, the better it is and they're gonna feel more confident in accepting you. If you don't have a blog yet, this can be a little bit of a challenge because there are some affiliate programs that just will not accept you. But if you look, there are some that will, will accept you with just a YouTube channel or just a Pinterest or just an Instagram. So look at all the terms and see where you can fit in in this beautiful world of affiliate marketing because it really is a great way to make money online. Now, how do you get your first sale? The best way to get your first sale is to find out where the people are that need the product that you have. So maybe you'll find out that they're all on Instagram or they're all on LinkedIn or they're all on Facebook. Wherever it is, you can go there and you can market to them. You might even just market to your audience as far as your Facebook friends. Definitely don't be spammy or anything like that, but you can create helpful content, whether it's on Facebook or YouTube or Instagram, and you can talk about a problem, say maybe if your friends have dry skin and you're promoting a skincare product, you can talk about seven steps to cure their dry skin. And one of those steps could have that product that you think is good in there. So they're just naturally gonna start doing the steps and they're gonna need that seventh step maybe it would be, or six, wherever you throw it in at, and then they'll say, oh, well look here, Sue or Jamie or Jim or Bob, whoever you are, has this link, and I'm gonna click through and I'm gonna buy it from Amazon or whatever affiliate program that you have it on. So it's a really great way to just easily and simply get started, get that first affiliate sale, even if you don't have a blog, once you can find a program that does support you doing that without having a blog. You might be wondering how much money you can make with affiliate marketing. There's a very wide range of how much money you can make off of each affiliate sale or each lead that you sell someone. I've seen as little as 40 cents and you can do a large volume and make some money off that. It does, it does feel like it takes forever if you do that way. But some people only say, high ticket, high ticket. But I really find if you just find products and services that you really genuinely like, that's just the best way. Stop focusing so much on high ticket or or maybe the volume. Just focus on what is it that you want, like, and use yourself and how can you recommend it to people that also want it. Keep in mind that I've been doing affiliate marketing for a long time. 
like over a decade, which is, man, I feel old again. <laughs> I have been doing affiliate marketing for a very long time and in that time I have literally spent hours and hours and hours in front of courses trying to figure out how to pull everything together and, and figure everything out so I can just get out there and do what I needed to do. And one of the best courses that I've ever taken is Authority Hacker. Authority Hacker also has Authority Hacker Pro, but honestly even I'm not at that point where I want to scale the business as huge as that. So if you're watching this video, you probably don't need that either. Now keep in mind, as I'm telling you guys this stuff, I am an affiliate of Authority Hacker and what kind of affiliate marketer would I be if I did not have an affiliate rent link, right? That being said, if you are going to use my link that is in the description, it does support my channel and I greatly appreciate that. Keep in mind that there are two links in the description. One of those is to teach you seven secrets of how to make new websites 83% more successful when you get started. So that free webinar is done by Gail. Good job, Gail. You're awesome. Always got some good information. And the other affiliate link is to take you directly to the sales page. So wherever you're at, if you want to learn some more for free, check out the first link. If you want to just check out the program and potentially buy it, then go ahead and check out, check out the second link. Now that you know a little bit more about affiliate marketing, you probably noticed that you need to build some influence online and to be able to get some eyeballs in front of the offers. So that being said, you should totally check out the video that just popped up on the page about LinkedIn and how to build LinkedIn if you have a professional audience that you wanna get your products in front of. Or if you don't have a professional audience that you want to market to, then just check out the link that popped up beneath the LinkedIn training video.